Welcome to the Blade of Tech Channel 69th edition and second year of the Tesla and SpaceX Redux. We are reviewing the milestones that occurred on each day in the week of December 27th to January 2nd in the history of Tesla and other Musk affiliated businesses. December 27th, 2013. Business magazine Forbes speculated on this date as to whether Elon Musk would agree to sell Tesla to a legacy auto manufacturer in much the same way that X.com and then PayPal were sold to larger dot-com rival eBay.com. Musk's 11% stake in PayPal was crucial in funding his takeover of Tesla Motors and the founding of SpaceX. Selling his stake in Tesla would allow the billionaire to fund his next set of business ventures. Forbes ended up answering its own question. They observed that, quote, The biggest obstacle to such a deal, in reality, is Tesla's sky-high price. Tesla generates barely more than 1% of GM's total revenues, but is trading at a market cap of about one-third as large as GM. Its 11x price-to-sales ratio compares to GM's 0.37x and Ford's 0.41x. With that kind of valuation, Tesla may be too expensive for any of the market leaders to make a play. This is even more true at the end of 2021. December 28th, 2020, Tesla fan Kim Paquette retweeted a screenshot in this date shared by Musk troll account, Elon Musk's jet, that showed the Tesla owned jet used by Musk leaving Colorado and landing in Hawaii. She then said, quote, not so long ago, Elon Musk would never have dreamt of going on a vacation the last week of quarter four. Enjoy, sir. Relax after an amazing year. She tagged Tesla on the tweet. Musk apparently saw this tweet or was told about it. He tweeted in response to Paquette, quote, Just meeting with Larry Ellison to seek some advice. Back working at Tesla end of quarter tomorrow. Ellison sits on Tesla's board of directors and has been a longtime acquaintance of Musk. The Oracle founder and fellow billionaire owns the Hawaiian island of Lanai and frequently stays there. No word on what the powwow was about. December 29th, 2020. Musk tweeted on this date, quote, Entertainment will be critical when cars drive themselves. The Tesla CEO was referring to a new software update that besides a few user interface changes, featured three new in-car video games and a new boombox feature to play custom sounds through external speakers. As of the date of this video, Tesla Arcade, the company's name for its collection of games that can play on their vehicle computers, includes Super Breakout, Missile Command, Centipede, Tempest, Lunar Lander, Asteroids, Chess, Beach Buggy Racing 2, Cuphead, 2048, Fallout Shelter, Backgammon, and Stardew Valley. Enjoying our content? We issue new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe so you stay current. Subscribing is free, and we encourage you to browse our 350 plus video library, where you can find more milestones installments for every day of the year, as well as tech documentary segments, current events in space exploration, science and technology, gameplay recordings, reviews of tools and equipment, and reviews of small electronics and appliances. Each video is tagged with an alphanumeric indicator in the title, so searches for particular segments are quick and easy. December 30th, 2020. Elon Musk tweeted near this date his confirmation that it was technically possible to dial 911 from a Tesla vehicle. He was responding to a Tesla fan's query about the possibility after an incident where they needed to call emergency services, but could not do so as a result of a lack of signal on their mobile devices. Their Tesla, however, still had a connection. While this potential feature seems novel, in fact, legacy car companies already offer the ability, called telematics, to call for emergency services. For example, GM's OnStar uses a built-in network connection to route owners to the correct emergency service. Ford offers its similar sync services, and Hyundai and Kia offer their contiguous Blue Link and UVO services. Mercedes Benz calls their service Embrace, BMW refers to their services as Assist, and Toyota and Lexus offers a service called Entune. 
What is common among all these telematics services is that they charge a monthly fee. No word on when or for how much money will telematics appear on a Tesla. December 31st, 2020. May Musk, mother of Elon Musk, was published in an excerpt released from her book on this date on business website CNBC.com that the secret to her sons and other children's success was from, quote, teaching them about hard work and letting them follow their interests. Maeve divorced Elon's father at age 31 and raised her three children as a single mother, but that was no reason to shield her kids from hard decisions. She said, quote, Children don't need to be protected from the reality of responsibility. My kids benefited because they saw me work hard just to put a roof over our heads, put food in our stomachs, and purchase secondhand clothes. When they went to college, they lived in quite poor conditions. Mattress on the floor, six roommates, or a dilapidated house. But they were fine with it. If your children aren't used to luxuries, they survive well. You don't need to spoil them. Elon Musk, the father of six children himself, seems to have turned out all right. Have you agreed with our choices, or do you think there are other events in space and tech history that are better? Go ahead and share with us by dropping a comment below. If you have suggestions for other space and tech milestones, let us know. We'll credit milestones we pick for future videos to those viewers that post them. And don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. January 1st, 2020, Elon Musk tweeted on this date, quote, Congratulations, Tesla and SpaceX, on a great 2019. You rock. Looking forward to an epic 2020. We couldn't agree more with those sentiments two years later. To commemorate SpaceX and Tesla's successes for 2021, check out our 2021 Redux review, Milestones 157, where we cover all the highlights of the two companies and Musk's other businesses during 2021. And if you want to see all the major space exploration, science, and technical events of 2021 outside of the Musk universe, check out our 2021 Rewind review, Milestones 158. The link to both can be found in the description section below. January 2nd, 2016. Elon Musk tweeted on this date, quote, Worth reading The Machine Stops, an old story by E.M. Forster. The story is a 1909 novella originally published by Forster in the Oxford and Cambridge Review that visits the themes of society over reliance on mechanization and centralized decision making and the dystopian future that can result from the imposition and subsequent breakdown of imposed order. The Machine Stops was republished several times in various anthologies, Lastly, in 1973, in editor Ben Bova's Science Fiction Hall of Fame, Volume 2, and has resurfaced in various adaptations over the years in TV, radio, and theater. Forster's novels are better known and have been dramatized in several films, the last being Howard's End in 1992. Perhaps not rising to the level of American Philip K. Dick's influence on the film industry, Nevertheless, the British author remains a venerated resource for the UK entertainment industry. Several publishers specializing in out-of-print works offer The Machine Stops on Amazon.com. We've provided a link to one such publication in the description section below. On December 16th, 2021, far-left opinion cable channel MSNBC's Joy Reid tore into Elon Musk on her show after the billionaire disparaged U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren in her comments about wealthy business persons paying taxes. Reid said, quote, Elon wasn't happy, so he did what he always did and stomped his little feet and insulted Senator Warren, calling her an angry mom and referring to her as Senator Karen. So for so many reasons, being a freeloader and a selfish and disrespectful one, and for misappropriating black vernacular for misogynistic purposes, Elon Musk is the absolute worst. There's a lot to unpack there, but we'll give it a try. The black vernacular is apparently the phrase Karen, which lately has been a derogatory term for college-educated white women exhibiting privilege and elitism. 
We were not able to connect the term to any vernacular, black or otherwise, but it does seem to stick to Warren, who was a wealthy college-educated former Harvard Law professor. The freeloader comment is from Warren's original attack on Musk, which said that Musk didn't pay taxes and benefited from the hard work of other people. Musk is scheduled to pay $11 billion in taxes for 2021 and is universally recognized as a workaholic and a key entrepreneurial catalyst in electric vehicle and space industries. We were unable to find anyone who thought Musk was a freeloader or misogynistic. As for selfish and disrespectful, while Musk is notoriously eccentric, it is also true he doesn't suffer fools. Does that mean Musk deserves Reed's ire? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the 69th episode of Blade of Tech's Tesla and SpaceX Redux. If so, click that like button. Once again, don't forget to subscribe or just stay in touch by following us on our microblogging accounts, which are listed below, the community feed for this channel, our Instagram feed, and our Minds page. We announce all new videos and post some unique content on those outlets. And if you prefer an alternative video distribution source, consider visiting our channel on Rumble. Thanks for watching.